Hello everyone! Today we made some custom wood tool holders for the wall. Instead of showing you from start to finish, we'll start with the finished product. I guess we'll just go from left to right. So let's start with this one. This is for holding pliers. I cut little dados for these dividers. Not too bad. That one ran a little bit short, but I'll hit the whole thing with the sander. That's looking a lot better. The only problem I really ran into is that for some of the smaller pliers, like these dikes or the vice grips, uh, they would fall right through. Almost, that one happened to not. Uh, so I added these little extra strips of plywood just to pad that out a little bit so that they would be a little bit tighter in there. Above that is the wrench holder. This I tried a couple different ways. At first I wanted to just do something different so I thought maybe they could go in sideways in like little slots. Uh, it ended up just being too unstable so I went with the traditional, you know, nail or screw. Except I used some metal rod but I'm liking how it ended up and everything's looking good there. One of my personal favorites is the tape holder. Uh, I made this out of a piece of aluminum and I just really like the way it turned out. I was able to cut the aluminum down around the edges and uh, countersink the screws on the bottom and that ended up working really well. This thing is really solid. Next up is the hammer. This one was used with some scraps from the speed square uh, I ended up just kind of eyeballing and penciling and carving and shaving and sanding. So this is convenient. My bandsaw only tilts to the right and my scroll saw only tilts left. I'm really liking the way it turned out. It goes in solid. It doesn't rock around. For the speed square, I used a two by four and instead of using, you know, hooks, I made uh, a little shelf for it to sit on, and actually it's kind of grooved on the inside so that it fits perfectly inside. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out as well. Then I added a little bit of support on the back so that it would sit level and not rock around. For the screwdrivers, I made the mistake initially of thinking I could make just a slotted shelf for them to sit in. Unfortunately, this did not leave any support for the top and they just fell over. So, went back to the drawing board and just did traditional holes. My personal favorite on the board right now has to be the knife. After I cut it, I ended up adding these side pieces and really spent some time just eyeballing the contour of the knife front and back. And now, for whatever reason, this thing is just solid. You can mess around with it all you want. It's not going anywhere. And when I was actually making this one, Alex came in and said, why don't you just go to the store and buy all the plastic containers and store all your tools like a normal person. And this is why, Alex, look at this. That's why. And last but not least is the coping saw holder. It's very similar to both the hammer and the speed square, except just a little bit longer. And for whatever reason, when I was cutting off the top, I cut a little too deep and made this groove in the wood. And I ended up actually liking how it looked. I didn't sand it out. Like I said, these took about six hours to make. And when I had them all laid out, it was just really cool seeing all the little intricate details that I didn't really even realize that I had done. I'm gonna keep adding this way as I keep getting more tools. And then next week, I'm going to be building some compartments above for all the power tools with a little bit of cord management underneath. Lauren actually found something on Pinterest that I'm gonna do. Tell them about my mic makes Pinterest board. Okay. Uh, Lauren has a Mike Makes Pinterest board. I don't know how it works, but she said to tell you about it and to link it in the description. It's so. all the things that I want Mike to make. Anyways, we'll see you next week. Bye. I forgot to mention, I just put the hand saw holder right here above the miter saw, just because I didn't see how it would fit on the board with the cubbies on top. So as I get some more hand saws to restore them, we'll be lining this wall up with those. <laughs>